Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a cool advanced text animation that you can add in your website using DSAP. Now, recently I've been scrolling through the web and then while scrolling through the DSAP community, I found this cool post wherein a user wanted to have this effect, which can be done in Adobe After Effects, but using DSAP. So there was this amazing guy called as Point C who basically figured out this cool way of animating the text. I'm just going to be um, adding the link to the thread as well as um, the link of the profile of, of the moderator named as Point C in the description as well. So you guys can check that out. I basically refactored some of the stuff and then made it a bit more easier for the beginners to understand. So I'm just going to be showing you what we have here. So here we have the text which has subscribe. And now if I were to refresh, you'd see that we have this cool autometer kind of effect that's pretty nice and pretty smooth as well um so this is a standard slot machine kind of animation wherein basically the text roll but then you'd see that we have this cool ease effect as well it starts off a bit slow and then goes pretty quick and then uh has this cool enough effect so we're going to be building this in this video using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now we're going to be using DSAP for this. So yeah, without any delay, let's get started and let's learn to build this. Here I am in my index.html file where I've linked the DSAP uh, CDN. And then I've also added the link for the Bebas new font, which is a Google font. Now inside of the body, we're going to get started by adding the container div within which we're going to have our text. Now, inside of this H1, instead of adding the text as a whole, we're going to break down each individual characters into a span. So here, let's call the span uh, with a class of char. And then within this, we're going to add our character. Now, one thing to notice is that we don't have the character once, we just repeat it twice. Now, we call it as um, original text and then the clone text. The original text is basically the text that is visible to us. And then the clone text would be the text that is outside of the view frame and then we just animate it just so that we get the rolling effect so i'm just going to be repeating it for all the different characters so i'll just paste that in and that's it for the html now instead of creating another style file i'll just be adding a style tag just underneath our html here inside of the style file i mean style tag i'll just be pasting in some of the styling for the body so the body needs to have the font family of this padding margin as zero, height as 100 viewport height, background to a dark color. Now everything at the center using display flex, justify column to center and align items to center. And then we're gonna set the color of the container as white just so that all the different text is, I mean, the characters are white. And then the H1, now if I were to show you, now as you can see, the characters are stacking on top of each other, but then we want these to be um, horizontally. So we need, a property of display flex here so we'd add that as well and then also the text needs to be uppercase so we'll add that so here we're done with an uh with the h1 now if i were to show you this looks something like this now obviously the top portion i mean basically we're going to be uh, merging in both the text here so for that we need to first let's increase the size of the font and then we target the car and then we set the overflow to hidden and then set the position as relative. And then we target the clone text and then we just merge the clone character on top of the original text just so that uh, we don't see it repeating. Now, this is this looks pretty nice. So now what we're going to be doing is using the JavaScript, we're going to be placing the clone text alternatively, like uh, for the odd ones, we'd place the clone text above. And then for the even ones, the character would be somewhere underneath. And obviously, since we have the property of overflow hidden here, so those won't be visible to the viewport. So you can obviously do this in CSS, but I think it's much easier if you do it in JavaScript. So we're going to add the script tag here and let's start with the JavaScript. Now, if you see, we have here repeat and then the DSAP timeline. The repeat is basically um, how many times you want the roll to happen. So before it ends. So we want it to repeat eight times after it comes to an end. And then we have the standard DSAP timeline. And then we grab all the different characters and store it in the cars using query selector all. And then we loop through each individual character inside of this cars. 
And then what we do is basically we grab the original text, I mean, original character, and then also the clone character or the text, whatever you want to call it. And then check if this is an even one. So we basically um, check here if when we divide by two, if the remainder is zero, basically it's an even one. So we check for the index. So if this is an even one, we basically translate it negative 100 pixels. Else, we just translate it positive 100 pixels. Now, if I were to save here, we won't see any difference. But then if I were to show you, this is the original text. But then if I hover over this clone text, you can see that since the first one has the index of zero, obviously, which seems to be an even one, it is up top. All right, as you can see, minus 100%, which is this. And then the second one, which has an index of one, comes down. And this repeats for all the different characters that we have. Now what we're going to be doing is we basically create a role animation. So for each individual character, what we want to do is we want to grab the original and the clone one. And then we basically repeat it as the number of uh, repeating we have set here. So we just repeat it eight times. So we just have that. And then we don't want any ease in effect. And then what we do is, so we basically do the same check here. But since we know that if the index is an, is even, since we're setting it as negative 100%, I mean negative, yeah, negative 100%, what we do is we just bring it to 100. Basically, we bring it to the original place. And then for if this is not an even one, we just do the opposite. That's it. And so once we're done with the role, we just add this role to our timeline. Now, before that, we also need to add the duration. And then we just add this role to our timeline. And then we specify that this, this needs to be at the very start. So we add the timestamp as well of zero. Now we have almost our timeline ready. Now to play it, we just add dsap.2 and then here we add the timeline. And here we set the progress as one, basically meaning as you start from zero and then end at one, which is basically the entire, entire animation. And then the duration of the entire animation needs to be of four seconds. And then the effect or the ease effect that we have is of power four in out, which basically means that you start off pretty slow and then increase the speed by four times and then end it. So let's save and if you look at it, this is pretty cool. So let's refresh. Now the source code of this would be in the description as well as the link to the GSAP thread would be also in the description so you guys can check that out as well. So yeah, that's it for this video. Meet you guys in the next video. Till then, bye bye. Take care.